Hi, I'm Gizem. This is my project of magnetic resonance imaging course. For this project, I'm going to simulate MRI system on MATLAB. Cartesian redot sequence of the real object will be simulated according to parametric TE, field of view and resolution. Proton density is 2T and VE, which is off resonance, will be going to alter at different places. Therefore, effect of imaging parameters on various parts of the object will be analyzed for progress report. Calculations had done for uh, ST, MXY, gradients of resonance and TE. And at the end of the project, by taking Fourier transform of ST, reconstruction uh, of the object will be able to done. Uh, this is the ST equation. Um, what I'm going to this demonstration is that we will observe what happens when we change the pixel field of view and VE. We will analyze the image quality according to different values. Uh, but first, let me explain my code. Here it is. Um, I put several objects in here. There is a big circle, small circle, and five little rectangles. Um, these are proton densities, TE and VE arrays. And in here, uh, yeah, in here, um, I assigned the proton density, T2, and VE values for the objects. And I put them different uh, coordinates. I put them at the different coordinates. Um, this is for the mapping and uh, scales, mapping scales and color arrangements. In order to make a calculation of ST, we need some parameters here. Um, there is a formulate of field of view. Just a second. Huh. Mm -hmm. Field of view formulate is here. Uh, and it contains, as you can see, it contains GX and GY, which is needed for ST. Uh, we will change the value of resolution, field of view and VE, and then we make an observation for the images. At the progress report, we have done a calculation for just a single line. Uh, for example, this is the cast space. And we have done a calculation for just a single line. Uh, we have uh, been getting data from only one line of the cast space, but now calculation will be done for every point of T and GY. Uh, so we will be getting data from every line, thereby we will look for different phase encoding. Uh, we have six outputs. Mm -hmm. We have six outputs. First image is represent. Uh, first image represents proton density. Second one is T two mapping. Third one is VE mapping. Fourth one is signal amplitude, and fifth one is signal angle, and the last one, the sixth one, is image. And now I'm going to uh, mention about my observation. First observation is uh, about field of view. We expect that when we decline the field of view, aliasing will be occurred. And when we increment field of view, object will be getting smaller. As you can see. Um, let's see. And the second observation, sorry, this is the normal uh, field of view value. This is uh, the other one. This is the smallest one. This is the smallest one. This is the biggest one of field of view value. And the second observation is about resolution. Uh, we will observe that according to which parameters a uh, rectangle can be noticeable and separable. When we decrease the pixel, a rectangle will uh, not be able to see easily while resolution approaches the 
six millimeter, which um, is the gap fit between the rectangles. Uh, they cannot be separable, and uh, if resolution past six millimeter, uh, we can see the images. from here and our last observation is related to off resonance chemical shift um, v, um, and VE at the object without VE um, it can be seen sharply and if we increase VE image will be blurry you can analyze the solutions from the report.